Hi guys, my name is Noelle and welcome to my channel. This is my little art channel where I um, share my art journey with you. So thank you for clicking on my video. Um, today I'm going to be sharing a video of making this mural. Um, I forgot to film before starting it, like a video of like an intro. So here's my intro. So I wanted to make this mural because I wanted to get practice making like larger scale paintings and also I wanted to have things to put into my portfolio so that I can have things to show to customers so if they want a mural made I can have something you know, or um, a lot of times the application processes for uh, doing murals like in town and stuff, they usually want to see like a portfolio. So I decided to take it in my own hands um, and go ahead and do it. And um, I'm really glad I did. This is super fun. Let us get started. So I was super excited. I found this 9 by 12 foot drop cloth from Home Depot that is canvas and I was trying to find a cheaper alternative than the Hobby Lobby canvas that was I think 5 by 3 meters for like $80 and this was just $25. Um, the, the texture of the surface is definitely lower quality, it's a little bit bumpy, but I feel like since it's um, just unprimed cotton canvas, like it's not going to have like probably a lot of acid in it, hopefully. And I'm just super stoked about it because it can fit on the wall that I wanted to paint, and now I don't have to paint on the wall, but man, this, this stuff is um, quite a exciting option. So I just stapled it on the wall and it was a little bit of work so I grabbed my husband to help me and I'm so excited to get started. So I came up with a few design ideas. Uh, this first one is talking about life and a um, you know, baby in a womb and then branching off comes in, coming a sprout and kind of was thinking about like the turbulent waves and um, and this next idea, I was just thinking something similar with um, in the fetal uh, position, um, the edge of the ocean, but have it be like outer space and so kind of like another dynamic piece like this other one. But yeah, that one I didn't really develop too much. And then I was just playing around with these ideas again, um, something similar with the sprout, just trying to um, see if there's other ways I could approach it. and that just kind of got pretty loose. Um, this next one was the one I actually decided I wanted to do for a while and I, as you can tell, I developed it a lot more. I even mapped it out with the numbers of the steps I would be doing it. Um, got all organized and I was really excited. I felt like it was doable. I just wanted to show you, I tucked in the piece of fabric, fabric that was hanging on the upper right corner and yeah, I just, I feel like it's I like it. I cleaned up the house some. Oh, hi, kitty. You can see so, sort of the imperfections of the lighting, but I feel like once the primer is on and the paint, these these different discrepancies are probably gonna tighten because paint has the effect of tightening. And yeah. So what I'm gonna start with is spraying the canvas down with water to help absorb some of the moisture so that the paint isn't sucked up completely. This is the paint I'm using. And I've made it into a gray color so it's mid-tone. Then I'm gonna try using this big brush by hand, which I know seems like a ton of work if you're thinking about like regular wall painting, but I wanted to have that painterly look, so hopefully it's not too exhausting. I did a few strokes and that's totally not gonna work. I'm gonna have to use a ruler like a normal house painter. Um, yeah. My husband's sitting there <laughs> <laughs> laughing at me. Um, yeah. So as suspected, I zipped through that small can of paint because the paint was just soaked up into the canvas so quickly. I um, was trying to use a spray bottle to wet in the canvas so that the water soaks it up first, um, or the water soaked up first, 
but my hand was getting kind of sore so I ended up pouring water into the paint because it's water-based paint um, and I just was trying to like utilize the paint so I don't have to buy more but probably gonna have to buy more I'm gonna I may actually just use some of the paint I used for painting our bedroom walls and see if that's water-based and then maybe just finish up the rest so it's not gonna be matching but that is okay. This is the one I used for our bedroom and it's obviously covered in some paint. So um, I guess I would just look at the ingredients. Okay, I found it right here. It says 100% acrylic. So that is perfect. than painting the walls like normally because um, normal painting walls is um, like you have to make sure it's like perfectly solid but with this one splotchy is okay because it makes it look painterly. It's a few days in the future now and I have a complete change of the mural. Are you ready to see? Um, this is a rough sketch of it but this is the general idea. The colors are also going to be different. Um, and I picked up the colors today too, so I'm committed here. All of these paints were 70, let's see, 72, 50, wait, 72, 42. And I have yellow for around there, around the edges, skin tone here. I have the dark part of the sky over here, so it's not gonna be jet black. And then instead of blues, I have purple, for this part and a dark, uh, um, slightly lighter shade blue for closer to the, to the, the yellow. And I also got a big drop cloth. This was only $5 at Lowe's. I got three more of these little paint trays and I'm excited to sketch out the drawing. Um, this is a photo, um, it's based on a photo reference of one I took like over five years ago of a little girl and I'm so excited to finally paint it. Um, I think this is gonna be impactful and I hope everyone likes it. All right guys, so I printed out the, the reference picture for the little girl and I'm gonna start sketching out um, the picture in um, with paint. I mean, I could use pencil or something, but I think I like the painterly feel, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, I think, with the yellow paint. a few days later I just wanted to give a little update so um, here's the painting so far and I was just reevaluating the design idea and I had the idea about putting some land formations I think I'm just this is a very rough idea I think I'm gonna do make it look different but I'm gonna have land in the background and I uh, also added in um, the cost of the paint they were like 15 or like the smaller container it's not I don't think it's a pint um, a liter maybe and then um, added in like how much time and so before I had like a map out of how I was going to be um, executing the original design plan but I changed the design plan and I'm doing it a lot more loosely and I'm just going to be recording it and try to work in reverse and um, so I think that would be fine but yeah, so far the painting is going pretty well. Um, I have put like eight hours into it, eight and a half hours, and I feel like I'm really moving along. 
All right guys, so one thing I wanted to add is that originally I wanted her to be blowing a flower and having the flower petals going up to the earth with becoming planets. But as you can see, very quickly this painting became pretty um, heavy in theme. <laughs> That was not originally in my intention because I wanted this painting to be a good like example for something to show in my portfolio that, um, I don't know, would be more accepted by the masses, but God had a different plan, I think. <laughs> he had me put the babies in there and obviously, as I'm sure you all know, that's gonna make the painting like have a lot more meaning and make people wonder what it means and Yes, <laughs> it is about pro-life. It is about the value of life. It is about that like before, before time, God knew us. So like this little girl, like, okay, I'll get more into that later, okay. <laughs> part in the painting I had actually taken a vacation for a few weeks and I came back and I had taken some time to think about the painting sometimes it's nice to take a few steps away and take a break and then you regroup and um, gather up all the things you want to do rather than just going 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 and then ending up like making decisions that maybe you, you want to go back on so um, yeah I took a minute to um, look at the painting again and uh, think about what I, what I wanted to do, which was mostly at this point details and nothing major, but um, just refining things a bit and also adding connection to the flowers. So you'll see that next. Guys, I woke up this morning and I was struck with um, the name that I'm probably going to name this piece. Are you ready? See me. the title I really got more clarity on like the meaning of the painting and that was that the little girl like I feel like I've showed this painting to a few people and they don't always notice it and I'm curious what you guys think like before I say it um, like what you interpret it as like the little girl like how does it all fit in she's blowing bubbles they're becoming babies like is she's the, is she the mom you know people can get kind of this narrative um, but my intention was that she is like the babies like she is known and seen before she was created every hair on her head and you know every stage that we're in even in the early stages of development in the womb like got like we are complete <laughs> like we are the same person and so that was like more of my intention like she is that little baby so I just thought I would clarify that <laughs> since I um, since I noticed that not everybody picks up on that so there you go <laughs> I finished and signed off on the painting as you can see here and um, overall the painting took me about 20 hours I believe and it cost about $200 for all the supplies um, yeah it went a lot quicker than I was expecting I definitely didn't want to overdo like working on it because I have a tendency to just want to keep working and like pushing those details and trying to get like all the stuff on it but in all reality, like this is such a big painting and the surface was very difficult to work on. 
it was rough it was um kind of sucked up the paint and it didn't really stick very well like it would kind of like go along the surface a little bit and when it did it was sort of like blur out a little bit so I was dealing with those sort of things and also the fact that it takes so much paint to make these big paintings so I wanted to just finish up with you know how she is here because I think it's it doesn't have to always be like hyper realistic um, and I just I don't know I kind of like the painterly feel I kind of like the painterly feel I just wanted to um, yeah like not overdo it and just you know I have the practice but I'm also proud of the work I don't feel like I under underdid it um, and yeah so I have a last little bit of this video that I hope you enjoy I along with the title earlier um, when I mentioned I, I like thought of the title or God gave me the title um, I was also given like a poem so this next part is me reading the poem and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you again so much for watching my video. God bless you guys. Hello, my name is Noelle Perry and this is the poem I wrote for my new painting titled See Me on September 14th, 2021. Maybe if only they could see, if only I could be seen. Hidden away and small, I know, but give me time, just let me grow. If they could only see as much as he, each hair counted, each breath drawn, just let me breathe before time he knew me. But if only they did too. If they could see, I want them to know, hidden now, but in time I'll show, whole and distinct, I promise I know, just give me a chance, let me be all I am. I don't need a lot. If you don't have a lot, please don't give up on me. Don't give me up. Your love is enough. But if the time I'm coming does not align, you are fine. But please let my future be mine. Please see me and bring me many weight with hearts that ache. If the way that I came has become your greatest bane, please fight and be strong. What they did is not okay. But don't let me be the one to pay. Emotions may come up, ebb and flow. They say many don't have regrets, you know, whether hidden in sorrow or if what they say is truth not borrowed. I hope you will hear me. Would you spare just a little, a gift, a small portion of your life so that I can have one? I know you can sense me and hopefully feel me, but if not, I will try, I will try to be louder. My heartbeat is trying. But for now, I will trust that my words will be heard, and if two are remaining, let them be.